Good morning, you guys, it's Karen, and I'm here to review this. I did a bit of a haul on a Saturday when I was in Edinburgh with my friend, and I bought four products from Tresemme. Two of them, I think, are the Runway Collection. This is the Runway Collection. Let me have a look. Yes, the Runway Collection. I've got two volume products that I'll use next time I wash my hair, and I've got one shampoo and then this. So this is the Get Sleek Perfect Polish Glossy Heat Protection. You may remember um, when I did my favourites of 2015 that I talked about my Holy Grail protection spray which is this one the Weller Thermal Image this is one of those two-tone you know you've got the oil and the liquid and you shake it to mix it and I've always enjoyed formulas like that there's not that many out actually for heat protection spray and I find it very difficult to find a heat protection spray that is for dry hair. I want to be able to use it with my straighteners on dry hair and a lot of them that you think are heat protection sprays, you have a look and it says to use on damp hair, then blow dry your hair and then use the straighteners. I like something I can spray immediately before using my curling tongs or straighteners. So I absolutely love this. I've not changed my mind about this, but it's not something that's sold in Boots or Superdrug. It's something that I have to order online. I think it's sold in some salons, but I have to order online. So it's a bit of a pain, although saying that I've still got a lot left. And what I said was that I would always buy new heat protection sprays if I saw something new that appealed, and this definitely appealed. At first looking at it, it looks like it's a solid bottle, but it's not. It is actually a transparent bottle. I don't know whether you can see there. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see the fact, unless maybe I turn it that way, that the oil is up to about there and then the liquid is up to about there. So it is one of those duos that you shake that's got the oil in it. And it says protect and, protect and polish duo mist. So that appealed to me. This didn't appeal to me. I don't like these spray bottles. Saying that, having used it, I'm more than happy to keep it. I actually thought I'll buy it and I'll test out the formula and I'll see if I can find another bottle for it. Because like I said, normally I find these quite awkward to use, but this one has got a lovely spray and so I'm going to use it as is. And this might well be my new favorite. Certainly it's my favorite at the moment, but it might well be my, holy, my new holy grail, that's what I meant. As some of you may remember, I don't like anything with a lid. I just, I like things that you can grab and use. Um, and this one obviously not having a lid will mean that it's just got a little thing that you flick either side there to stop stop it being sprayed i don't see me ever actually shutting off of this one's got a lid so i can definitely see this one being my new holy grail so let me tell you what the claims are what the price is etc and what i think of it so it is five pound 49 at the moment for this but there is a deal on tresemme products that it's two for seven pound in super drug um i didn't see this in boots and i did get a couple of those in boots that they were on a different deal I think it was two for nine pound, but it was different products. Anyway, I got this one in Superdrug and I bought one other product, two for seven pound. And I think that's really, really good because at three pound 50 for this is fantastic price. But even at five pound 49, I would definitely buy this. Times are, it says this dual action mist has two layers. The first gives your hair incredible heat protection so that you can style it however you like. The second layer locks in shine so that once you've perfected your look, it has all the gloss and polish of a salon blow dry. Mm, quite big claims there. Um, there's nothing I particularly disagree with there. I'm With heat protection, you can't really judge that, I don't feel like. I know some people say they can and that, I don't know, maybe using certain products, your hair maybe feels more dry. I've never ever felt that. Um, I feel like my hair gets drier if I'm overusing my heat products. So if I curl my hair too much or use my hair straighteners too much, I don't think there's anything that 100% protects it. I like ones with an oil in it because I just feel like it's doing more good for my hair and I don't know if there's any basis to that. Any of you hairdressers watching can tell me, you know, I feel like if I use something with an oil in it that it's giving it a little bit more protection and I actually used to use, it was a shine spray that was pure oil and I used to spray that on, it was a John Frieda one and that's what I used to use and I've never felt, even though I use straighteners at the sides of my hair here, I've never felt like it's too damaged, you know, other than when it was very long, I did have, I could look at my hair and find a lot of sp split ends. I'm not sure it's given me any kind of salon shine, um, or it doesn't look like I've had a salon blow dry, I don't think, but it fulfills my requirements of a heat protection spray, which are, I want it to be lightweight. I'm currently using the TG Ho Iron Spray, which is an aerosol, but it's an aerosol oil but it feels like an oil anyway, and I know if I use too much, I get greasy hair. And I love the fact that it's an oil, because like I said, I do like oils, 
but if I use too much, it leaves my hair greasy and kind of weighed down. So I want whatever I use, although I want it to have a little bit of oil in it and be moisturizing, I want it to be lightweight. So I don't want, I don't want any styling from my heat protection. I don't want it to hold anything in place. I just want it to protect my hair as I straighten it. Um, and this one does exactly that. There's no hold. If you're looking for any hold, you won't get it from this. It just helps the straighteners seem to glide through even more easily than they do without it. Saying that, have I ever used my straighteners without protection? Probably, if I'm in a real rush, I might do. I'll show you me using it in a moment. I'll just rerun the straighteners through so you can see what it's like. Um, or try and find a bit underneath my hair that's looking a bit wavy or something like that, because I normally only just do the side bits that are on show. Um, but I just love everything about this. I love the fact that it's lightweight. I love the smell. I love this spray, because like I said, it comes out really well. I'll show you when I spray it. Um, I love that it doesn't leave my hair weighed down or anything and it does feel like it's given some protection so let me show you how i use it not that i use it different to anybody else i'm sure i'm using my cloud nine straighteners and i will put them up a bit higher let's, okay let's do this bit here because this is looking a little bit see there's a little bit of a wave in it here and this is actually quite a hard bit to straighten so i just brush through it and then let's spray this on and you'll see the kind of mist that you get so shake and spray see it's a nice fine mist it's not, um, you know, one tiny thin spray. It's not like, and you, and you could saturate it, but you'd have to spray it a couple of times. So you can just get a light mist. And I like that, it gives you more control. I'm just gonna go underneath because that's actually too much. I like that sound. I, I know that that might not necessarily mean be a good thing but I do like that sound to me that that's like it means I've got something in my hair to protect it whereas if you don't use it you don't get that sound but that like I said may be completely backwards now something that people have pointed out to me in using my straighteners is that I go through my hair too quickly you're supposed to go through your hair slowly um, but what I would say to that is I've always I've always done it that way I've always gone through my hair uh, quite quickly and that it's worked for me and I have good conditioned hair so I don't really want to do it slower because then you're putting more heat on it for longer and yes you might get more straight hair but and you might not have to go over it twice like I do but like I said I've actually always had good conditioned hair and looked after my hair so I'm happy with the way I'm doing it just now but hopefully that just give you an idea of what the spray was like totally recommend it it's quite a long video for just one product isn't it so I'm going to shut up now but polish colour because I know that people will ask although it's really chipped is a limited edition by MAC and I don't think I'll be able to read it even with my glasses on because you know the way sometimes you can't actually see the name Scorching Hote, that's the name of it, Scorching Hote, that's the nail polish there. Let me see what I've got on my face. I've got on the Max Factor palette in, I think it's called Rose Nudes. Rose Nudes, yeah, these new Max Factor palettes, which is a dupe of the Naked 3 palette, which I should already be up on a video. Um, on my cheeks, I've got Marc Jacobs, what's the name of it? Outspoken, Outspoken, that's it. I was gonna get annoyed myself there because I've been wearing it for weeks and I still can't remember the name. My lipstick is the Steely Liquid Lipstick in Batchy and my foundation is the L'Oreal True Match in 3N. Um, and that is everything. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.